Hey guys, it's Sean Bob back with a new episode in our free to play series. Finally, it's a shiny Star Force episode that I've been preparing for for the past few months, getting most of my mezzos through boss cube service and Golux or Sweetwater equips. Anyways, we had about 35 bill to gamble with and I split this shiny Star Force episode over 3 episodes in our free to play series, because I want you to all enjoy the pain I had to go through. I still remember the pain my fingers felt this day. This Shining Star Force part is mostly on the smaller equips that were on 16 stars that I needed to push to 17 for both my Kana and Corsair, and the VIP necklaces that I wanted to push to 18 stars so that my Nightlord army can solo daily bosses faster. Anyways, I hope you all enjoy this episode and let's get into it. Cool, sold some of my cubic Chaos Blades and uh, a cracked engraved Golux pendant, very nice. So that should put me to like almost 26 build I think. But I also do have some more mezzos on my Corsair, and I also have some mezzos on my Nightlord army, so... Oh yeah, so this guy has exactly 26 bill. So I think the total amount of mezzos I have would be close to 28 bill by tomorrow. I just have to go through my weekly bosses on my Corsair, and... Yeah, I think that should be around 28 bill. And then I'll be ready for the Shiny Star Force fan. Let's get it! Alright, let's begin. So, this is the reason why I got to Alchemy Meister with this guy. Um... So yeah, as you can see from yesterday, I actually uh, fused these two myself, but yeah, it was after a lot of attempts, so I just did like a trial kind of run to see how many um, I will need to fuse until I get a decent one, and I think this was after like 30 attempts, I got two decent flames. So the rate isn't looking very hot, but um, I have a lot of these hats, so we can just try and see if we can get something here. Um, yeah, but I'll probably just like spam this away and hope that I get a decent flame. I'll stop when uh, I actually do. Ooh, this is an 88 attack, oh, 88 stat uh, CRA hat, which isn't half bad. 88, uh, slightly low still, but um, this is probably like the best I've gotten so far. Uh, hopefully we can keep going. Oh, like we can get something better though. Uh, but yeah, I, already, I still have like heaps of these hats, so um, there's just more on my other mule at the moment. But the other ones I've gotten were like not as bad here. So the ones that are like around 60 stat or higher on strength or dex are the ones I keep. And then the one like that has the highest dex, it was basically the one that I'll pick for my Corsair for now. But yeah, let's keep going. Um, I still want to get that triple digit baby. You bloody bastard. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> this would have been 112. Fuck, why is it on luck? Oh. Fuck yeah, I did it! Woo! <laughs> 60 dex and 5% all stats, so that's a flame score of 100. Woo! Very nice. Um, but yeah, I'll just keep going on because I still have a lot of hats, but this looks like it's going to be the hat that I'm going to be using for my Corsair. Oh, so happy with this. Oh, dude, fusing actually gets you some pretty good results, but yeah, next step is uh, getting that 70 or 80 dex uh, flame plus like 5% all stat or more. But yeah, we'll see what we can do. Alright, Spell Trace Fever. Um, so this is the 100 flame score uh, hat that I made the other day. So, oh actually, not even the other day, it was like an hour ago. <laughs> Anyways, um, so 30% dex probably with these. Um, yep, yeah, cool. So hopefully I get, wait, how many slots is this? 11 slots. Hopefully like 8 passes. Because like, I don't have any Innocent Scrolls, um, so we might just have to see how it goes. So 1-1. One, one. Hmm, I missed the days that Innocent Scrolls were like 5 mil each. <laughs> Fuck. Alright, let's just buy a couple. Uh, I'll just buy like 4. Fuck, whatever. Uh, I'm no longer on 26 bill on my Kana, no. Just cause like, I do want to get like a decent head start with this. Like, I don't really need to. Like, um, yeah, if I don't get it in 4 goes, then I'll probably just leave it for next time and I'll just Arc Innocence it, whatever. But like, yeah, if I can just start with this um, and get it to a decent amount of slots then um, I can just clean slates from there uh, next time. So it just makes my life a bit easier. Okay, let's start again. <laughs> ah, beautiful. Beautiful. Fuck me. Mm, okay, I think I'm gonna arc in this the next time then. It's just like, yeah, I don't want to spend too much mezzos because like, yeah, like, um, I need as much mezzos as I can for the event. And, you know, I can always get back the spell traces back with the next fever event, but 
Oh, but this is just so bad. What is five out of? Fuck me. Oh, this is good. Oh, wait a second. Actually, I don't think about it. This innocent scroll should be up to fifty percent during spell trace fever time, and it only costs five thousand spell traces. Wait, how much is five thousand spell traces times? Uh. So I guess it is just more worth it to buy the innocent scroll to innocence this instead of spell tracing it. All right, I'm back. <laughs> Uh, I'll just pick up four more. Okay, and then if it really doesn't pass, I'm really not going to buy anymore. I swear to God. But it's just like, this guy is just so OCD right now. It's just so bad. Okay, fuck. Alright, let's go. Um, Come on. Eight. Please, eight. Eight would be nice. Eight would be like a pretty good number. Okay, I got what I wanted. A passes. <laughs> okay, this is much better. Okay, Whew. this makes me feel so much better than before. All right, and um, yeah, I do have some clean slates. Oh, like with this, the amount of spell traces I have. So I'll just chuck it a bit. Um, okay, okay, come on. All right, Iron Jesus, Iron Jesus is main this pass yes okay 9 out of 11 okay that's actually not half bad okay so 9 out of 11 um but i do also need to hammer this but at least for now this is actually uh sort of there so yeah cool i'll just be ready for tomorrow then all right and it's time to actually start liquidating on some of my assets here <laughs> so um yeah i have quite a lot of these guys and i don't really need many of these and yeah and might as well just raise some capital right uh, so just looking at the market price, I think Sweetwater Tattoos and Monocles were around 280 mil and Pendants were around like 500 mil, so just doing the math, I think it just makes, like, everything just makes sense here. Uh, I might just buy, hmm, let me think, maybe I might just buy two of each, just to diversify, I guess, um, because, yeah, I feel like people might buy over different times of the day okay let's just buy two of each yeah i think that's a good idea let's do that and then we'll list it up into auction house and hopefully we can get some sold very good sold one of the sweet wooden monocles and 26 bill again so that means i have enough space to get one more sweet water monocle hopefully i can sell that tomorrow as well sold all right, uh, I need to get two more of these to replace it. <laughs> so 60, uh, 26 bill now. Sold after like uh, a minute of me posting uh, the money calls. Very good. Um, hmm, okay, let's look at how many coins I have left. All right, I'm starting to slowly lose out of coins. Um, I'll keep going, I think. Yeah, uh, I, I think I'll just keep it until I have like enough for one of these three water equips. I'm not, I don't feel like I'm going to be using the sweet water equips, but um, just in case I do, I can just use one from the shop then. But yeah, for now, I'll just list it up and I'm going to increase the price a bit because uh, the price has actually jumped a bit. So currently it's standing at, um, oh, someone post, well, someone was trying to undercut me <laughs> and they put it for one meters lower than what I posted for. But I think this will sell out really quickly. And then um, I should be able to sell two of these at 250 mil. Um, so we want a tattoos aren't looking too hot though at the moment, I don't think. Yeah, it's like, eh, it's around there, yeah. Or oh, maybe I might slightly undercut that person. Oh, I sold a Golux ring. Very good. Alright, sold. So grab some more sweet water monocles. 28 bill, very good. Oh, more sales. Okay, cool. So I sold all of my sweet water equips except for these stupid pendants. <laughs> These pendants are a bit harder to sell than I thought. Um, hmm. Yeah, maybe I might have to drop the price a bit more just so that people feel more incentive to buy them. Oh my gosh, wait, they just tanked. What the fuck? How did that happen? Oh my gosh. Okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll have to drop the price because, yeah, I do want to sell these today so I can um, use the extra mesos for uh, the Star Force event. So, yeah, I'll just match the market price and then. Hopefully sell these guys, and then that'll be almost 30 bill just on this guy, I'm pretty sure. And holy crap, I have so much Golux coins. I might just buy a Golux uh, ring, and 
uh, the reinforced one and then sell them in the auction house because yeah they're fetching a pretty good price at the moment as well <laughs> i'm actually going all in for this shiny star force event holy crap holy crap they sold instantly <laughs> all right cool let's grab these so that puts me to almost 30 bill oh my gosh these stupid pendants still aren't selling <laughs> Ooh, i just barely have enough for a superior gold ring Oof. all right cool so i picked it up on my corsair as well and i'll be selling this Anyways, let's start counting the mezzos on each of my uh, boss mills from selling the intense power crystals and then see how much uh, mezzos we have in the end. So I'm just going to put everything but like 3 mil in it. Uh, this guy has about 233 mil as well. Does he have boss freezes? Yeah, he has 2. Okay, next guy. Next guy up. Um, 200. Okay, he has 3 buff freezes, so that's okay. Oh my gosh, the storage lag. <laughs> Okay, uh, 150. Oh, okay, so this guy doesn't have any buff raises, so yeah, I'll keep like 3 mil mezzos for this guy. Oh, I saw the superior gold string. Alright, we're in. Um, yep. Cool. Alright. Okay, we've hit it. 30 bill. 30.5 bill. Um, assuming that I sell these, I should be like on like 32 bill then. Plus I have like 1.5 bill on my Corsair, plus I have like a bill on... Uh, my storage just from transferring the mezzos from my night lord army so i should be close to 35 bill this event yep sold some more stuff so that puts me to uh, almost 32 bill like very close to 32. all right guys so this is the shiny star force event um so before i start with like my main gear there's just a few things i needed to do so first thing was this reinforced Golux belt. I had to transpose or transfer hammer to a superior Golux belt. So that's the reason the other day I made a superior Golux belt here. All right, cool. Um, <clears throat> so let's just do attach this. And yeah, I, I do know that it's gonna go down in rank <clears throat> from unique to epic, but I don't think it's that important because <clears throat> oh. Wait, it retains it. Oh. oh okay, so it's still 6%. Oh, okay, I don't need to recube this then. Oh, lucky. <laughs> I thought I had to recube it, but like, even then, it wasn't too much of a hassle, but... Yeah, that's even better. Okay, let's do it. The price is so much cheaper now. The shiny Star Force. Oh, okay, cool. Very good. Um, okay, that's fine. Um, so I got the Superior Golux belt done. So that's done on my checklist. Um, the Corsair Fairy Heart to 15. And oh, okay. Yeah, that's just, just a Fairy Heart. Oh, I don't want to safeguard. Oh, safeguarding is going to cost a bit on Mezzos as well. Hmm. No boom? Okay. 0.6% chance to boom. Nah, okay. I'll just keep it. I'll keep it. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. I sold another monocle. Yes. Okay. Another 220 mil. So that's 34.8 bill. But yeah, that means I have actually hit that 35 bill mark. That's pretty good. Cool. Um. Okay. So first, I'll just get my Corsair hard to 15. Come on, one more, one more. Yes! I still haven't transferred having this guy onto a sweet order. 
or like transpose. Fourteen. Okay, one more. I'll play the game. I'm gonna fail this purposely because failing it passes it. Told ya. Very good. Um, so fifteen. So I just need to get to sixteen, and I think I can just keep it there. Cool. Pat mark to sixteen. Okay, pat mark. I'm not gonna safeguard. It's not worth it. I can just uh buy another pat mark. Like ideally, I don't want to. <laughs> just cause like who wants to boom? these equips, but... one3 percent chance. Fuck! Wait, what? It just went up in price. I swear it was just like 230 mil to send. Oh wait, no jokes, I'm just tripping. Okay, I'll just buy it. Fourteen, come on. Okay, fifteen. Very good. So we order tattoo to seventeen. Come on, one more, one more. Yes, 15. All right, let's get it to 17. No safeguard. Nice, 17 stars. Woo, okay. No, this guy's already at 16. Oh crap, I wasn't meant to star catch either. <laughs> nice, 17 stars. So progress check. Um, I am finished with what I wanted to do. So I spent, what, two bill? Around 2 bill, getting this to 17, getting this guy to 16, um, getting this guy to 16, getting this guy from 16 to 17, and also doing my fairy heart as well. So yeah, now I guess I can move on to the juicy part of uh, the video. First aim, uh, get the VIP necklaces to 18 stars. So these guys, and I won't be safeguarding these because I actually have heaps of VIP necklaces on my Kana. I think I have like six more. Thirteen. Fourteen. Okay, boom. I'll just work on this guy. For oh, wait. No, I don't want to transfer to this guy. Eleven, twelve, thirteen. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh! I boomed both of these before fifteen stars. That's kind of funny. All right, I'm back. Um, but holy crap! VIP necklaces are actually two ninety mil at the moment. <laughs> They've actually gone up a lot in price because I'm pretty sure I bought these for like fifty mil. Um, but yeah. So like, hopefully we don't boom anymore. <laughs> That's a bit dangerous.
Okay, 15. Let's keep going. Yes, 18 stars. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, okay. My first VIP necklace done. 18 stars. All right, cool. So second one. Let's go to 18 stars smoothly again, please. I'm surprised I didn't boom any on those uh, on the attempt to 18. 13, 14. Oh, 15 already. Oh, okay. 16, 15. Very good. 17. Oh, <laughs> so smooth. So smooth. All right, so I've spent about two bill, I think. Yeah, about, around two bill getting these VIP necklaces to 18 stars. So I'm pretty happy with the outcome because like it was a lot smoother than I thought it'd be. Like it wasn't actually a half bad. Two bill for these to 18 is actually quite good, I'm pretty sure. The first, the second one was really quick. Like the second one was only like 300 mil. I think the first one was like 1.7. All right, YOLO, let's go. Let's go to 21. To be continued. <laughs> That's it for this episode, folks. The second VIP necklace star forcing luck was completely insane. I legit only spent like 300 mil going to 18 stars. So I honestly can't complain at all. Anyways, I've already mostly edited my next episode, which is going to be on the juicy equips when we try to get our Chaos Root Abyss and Superior Golux Bell to 21 stars. I hope you're all keen for that, and I'll be dropping that video on the weekends. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks!